Hi guys, in this episode of Budget Barbie, we're going to be doing an episode for Little Japan in Singapore and that's why I'm here at Liang Court and I'm going to check out this huge supermarket media and the shops that sell Japanese stuff. I love everything Japanese. I love Japan and somehow right, everything made in Japan from Japan just seems to be better, yummier, chewer. So let's go shop! You can come here and check out their fruits. The ones I've flown in from Japan, right? they are all very nice, huge and perfect but super expensive. Can you please just look at this? It is white peaches and like the packaging is like this. Huh? Basically, people can give this as gifts, you know. And it's $88 for five peaches. Yeah. Who wants to eat some gold? <laughs> please look at all the snacks. I mean, although this is like less than 1% of what you can find in Japan, but pretty good enough. I'm gonna get this for you guys. It's like a mentaiko Japanese cracker. Rice cracker. Healthier choice, I guess. You wanna look at my cart? I'm secretly filming, but I already got a lot of snacks for you guys. Look at my trolley. Yeah, cause they keep chasing me out, like chasing me around, saying no filming, no filming. Oh my god, uni! It's like sea urchin cracker. Oh my god, they're looking again. Stop, stop, stop. There is this, like, the whole shop is selling their stuff for like $2 mostly. So it's something like Daiso, but I guess a little bit more interesting. This one is like new stocking but with writing on it, so it's quite cool. This is like one for two dollars and five for eight. I guess I'll get five or maybe just two. Just two lah. Ah yeah, just five lah. I got these socks also. It's the same price as the stocking. It's so cute with like these little frills on top. I want one for myself. Oh my god, they have like Hello Kitty accessories here. Look, Hello Kitty earrings. I'm not sure if it's real or fake. I think this one is real because this one looks actually cute. The earrings might be fake, but whatever, it's two dollars. They have a lot of home products, oh. and it's all two dollars. Really like Daiso, eh? but like for example, I've never seen this. It's like for your shoes, but it's charcoal, so it will suck in all the not so pleasant smell. So I feel right, actually, this shop is really kind of like Daiso, except that some of the stuff I've never seen at Daiso before. Oh, you know the thing about Japanese items is I really don't know what is it, but it looks so cute, I need to buy it. It's like this is wet tissue, obviously, but I don't know why it's so special. Lah. But it has like elephant, sheep, rabbit, and penguin, and like a little chick here. I gotta buy it. Hey, this is popping cookie no? For three dollars, it's crazy cheap ah. You know, popping cookie is like one for one set for last time maybe when it first came out, it's like one set for twelve I guess. Then after that, now become one set for eight. This is like three. Let's buy it. Oh my god! You know this are uh, the seasoning they add on top of their rice. This one has sakura petals. Ooh, oh my god! It's like there's so many flavors. Like this one is the. Chicken and egg one. Oh my god, Ureshi! <laughs> Ureshi is now my BFF and my favorite word. It means like, Jeng Kai Xing. <laughs> oh my god, I want to buy all that. I love their food seasoning. Oh. Basically, you don't need any other liao. Oh. You just eat the rice and then put this seasoning in it. It's your meal! <laughs> Not really, it's very unhealthy, but it tastes so good. Pangan cookies, so cute, look at this. Even they are kalbi, uh, also need to so cute or not. You see, yeah, you see, please. Oh my god, well, should I buy the kalbi? I mean, it's just really just stream kalbi. I buy an NTUC, also $1, one big packet. But this one is so cute. Okay, so I found like a Japanese cafe to just settle down and show you guys what I've gotten because we couldn't film inside the supermarket. So uh, now that I lay everything out, I think it's just crazy. I don't know how much I spent, it doesn't matter. But everything that I got is so cute! Uh, just some of the highlights, some, okay? I got lots and lots of Anfan Man stuff. It's not that I like them, but it's just so hard to find in Singapore except at Media. Lots and lots of it. And then uh, I got this. All these little cute candies. This is Doraemon, this is I don't know, but it just looks so cute. So I bought it. What is it inside? I don't know too. <laughs> this is how you overspend in Japan, really. And then I got some instant noodles for you guys in different flavors. What flavor? You guessed it, I don't know, but it just looks so nice. I got some white peach jelly for you guys as well. It's called Momo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know a little bit of Japanese, yeah. And 
I mean, come on, look at this Pikachu cup noodle. Is it nice? It doesn't matter, it's cute. Look at the fish cake they give you inside. It's Pikachu one. Wo. I got like this whole chunk of like five boxes of lotion tissue. In case you guys don't know what lotion tissue is, it's like the kind of tissue paper that when you use, after that you will not want to use normal tissue paper. Why is this so special? Because it's just like normal tissue but it has lotion in it. Every day I got sinus on I will always use tissue paper to like do this to my nose. After I tried lotion tissue, it's like my life is changed. So I never ever experienced sore nose or like here, this whole area, you know where you rub rub rub. Oh my god, that feeling is horrible when you have a flu. So yeah, now I use lotion tissue on my face also. It just feels so much softer and so luxurious. Like whenever I go to Japan, right, I will sweep like 8 to 10 boxes, you know why? Because in Japan, like this exact packaging, uh, one small box like that, right? In Japan, it's about $1 plus. You can get it at Don Quixote. So now this whole box is like, I can't remember how much, I think 18 plus. Super expensive. But I buy it for you guys. Konnichiwa! A bit paisei, actually this is in a mall, I'm nailing out of nowhere. But anyway, yep, I'll be separating all these items into three sets for you guys. So if you want to win, remember to leave a comment with your registered Quick Network account and I'll pick my favourite three. Okay, anyway, I had a really good time shopping at Little Japan in Singapore, which is like Yang Kot lah, okay? All of you should check out this place if you love Japan or if you haven't been to Japan and uh, you want to just look, see how it might be like. This is like perhaps 1% of what you will find in, in Japan. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, remember to download the Click Network app if you have not yet. I don't know how many times again I have to say this, but download it. Also remember to visit us at our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash budgetbubby. Sayonara!